Please. Okay, so welcome to the October 13th Chaos Common Metrics meeting. Um, we are under the, the Chaos Code of Conduct, so uh, please be kind to each other. Okay. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we don't normally talk about that this, this meeting. Sorry, I run a lot of CNCF meetings and you always mention the Code of Conduct as part of like starting the meeting. And so it's just, I yeah. like it. Don't be a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We should add we that. Probably, we probably should. I mean, I yep. I mean you can't summarize the code of conduct. So I always say something like be kind to each other. Um yeah, I like but that. the meeting is under the code of conduct. Mm -hmm. Um coming from the common working group, we should <laughs> recommend this to all working groups. That's a we good idea. Should. Okay, I just shared my screen so that we can see the, the notes. Um Okay, so we have a few things on the agenda. I'm not sure if anyone added anything. I don't see anything new. No. Um, so we talked last time about the time-based metrics and how we were going to name those. And so Kevin was going to add it to the template. Does anybody know if that happened? I don't think it has. Okay. <clears throat> Um, and Matt, did you file issues to rename the three metrics? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we'll just call that done. And I actually think evolution, were you working on that today? Um, I made the, I created two pull requests for okay. the issue. Yeah. So uh, probably the protocol will be to wait for the groups to meet to merge okay. them, but. I thought I saw that come across. So thanks for doing that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll uh, catch up with Kevin in the next meeting to see if that's been added to the template. Um, if anyone sees him and wants to remind him, that might be good. That way we can just get that done. Uh, new new metrics. Time waiting for uh, reviewer action. So Vinod, you had a couple of action items on this one. Yep. Uh... One is a visualization from Augur. Grimoire Lab does not have one. So uh, I don't, uh, yesterday I checked, Sean has not added the visualization. The, all right. Yeah, I looked at the notes and I didn't have an action item. So I dropped that. I will add it. Okay. Sean. Uh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Probably going to uh, add it while I'm at this meeting. So one more thing, uh, uh, since I did not attend the last meeting, uh, but Matthew texted me uh, on the Slack that uh, it is not super clear what constitute a reviewer action. So if you open the doc, uh, I, I read it again, it was pretty much clear that uh, from the time uh, sub, uh, anyone who submits the reviewer action, Till someone responds, it is very much clear in the narrative. So I was not sure what you are referring to. So, yeah, we'll just open that up. Yeah. Um, I think the bit that I think the bit that wasn't clear to people was that. Um, so time waiting for a reviewer action sounds like something that happens once in a review, but there are some complexities in that we're talking about reviews. So if I if I submit a pull request, I'm going to wait a certain amount of time for a reviewer action. Is this just time waiting for the first reviewer action, or is it also any reviewer action? So there a reviewer responds, I make some changes to my pull request, I push the commits. Um, and then somebody else, and then I have to wait for somebody else to do another review. Is that second review also part of this? So that was yes. the ambiguity that we discussed. At the goal was anyone who responded to the reviewer action. Like I submitted a pull request. Anyone who responded to my uh, request is the duration between those two things is what mm -hmm. this metric is trying to measure. Okay. Within a review cycle, it can be like, okay, I have did a pull request somebody reviewed it one uh, time waiting action done within then uh, then i reworked on that then i resubmitted my pull request somebody else reviewed it mm -hmm. then that time will be counted as a second process so if you look at the uh, wording 
uh, it's within the review cycle. Um, <coughs> sorry. Yeah, I still, I think um, whoever's highlighted this time waiting for a review reaction, like I can, I can kind of see that, but it's. I just typed any. Yeah. That's what I was, just, you had said that when you were talking, Don, that is it a single review reaction or any review reaction? Yeah. And the response was any review reaction. Yep. Like this is not tied to one particular maintainer who reviews it or anyone who reviews it, the, uh, the submitter gets a response on his work. I, I still feel like it's not not I feel like it's not entirely clear that that's that that's what's intended for this metric um I feel like it needs something like um it's not really when there are multiple reviews when there are multiple well um so it's kind of like when there are resubmissions or new new commits. Time. There are more reviewer actions. This isn't worded well. Oh. Somebody else needs to fix this. But I feel like it needs. I mean, do people think that it needs something like this in the description to make it more clear, or is that just making it more complicated? So how? What is this? First, if you read the first line, the time waiting for a review reaction metric measures a time frame, a uh, time from when a submitter submits a change within a review cycle. We have highlighted this uh, review cycle, within a review cycle. Yeah. So maybe so it needs it's... something more like there may be multiple. multiple reviews within a cycle, but this uh, majors one review in that cycle. <clears throat> Does that make it more clear? I mean, probably need some rewording. Yeah. So, what would be a reviewer action? What are reviewer actions? Do we have choices? On the uh, review reviewer action can be good, merge it, or maybe need some improvement. Any kind of a review for a submit. Maybe, maybe the, is the word action kind of not needed like just time waiting for a review time waiting for a review yeah that, that would be sense. specific and it makes it yes we know exactly what it is yeah yep yeah i like that And then I think your text is good, done. I mean, really, because that, that there may be multiple reviews within a cycle in this measure. Yep. One review. One review. Yep. Uh, like time between one review. Time for a first review to start. Or time between each review. It's time between each review within a review cycle. Like that? And multiple reviews, and this measures the time between a review. Uh, not, so we are repeating the review cycle in the sentence again and again. Yeah, and that's why I think somebody needs to reword that, I think. Yep. Reviews within a cycle and this is time between each review. I think this will be good. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. Do we think that addresses <clears throat> the, the concerns? Like, I feel like if we set the stage that that's what we're talking about, that probably makes the rest of it make more, uh, more clear. Yeah, I think the rest kind of holds together then too. I added a visualization that speaks to what we're talking about. This okay. is essentially mean times for pull requests that are closed. First response, last response, mean dazed, merged and not merged. John, can we have a exact source for this visualization? Yep. I will provide that source. My mouse battery died, so I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else on this one? So I think uh, um, so this is this is... Other than this, I think this is good to go. For... Yeah. Yeah, is... and... okay. yeah, I I can create a PR for the regular release, like rolling release. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I I'll give it a one more read, and if there is a small tweak or anything, then I'll create a PR for this one. Okay. Cool. Um. Then we had some uh, revised metrics. So types of contributions. I don't think that Kevin has submitted a PR for that one. So I think that action item is still that action item is still open. Um, so we'll leave that one there. Um, in uh, meeting driven work this morning, I submitted a PR. I saw them coming or the one, <laughs> the one that I've been working on. Um, so I would, I would like, um, I would actually like for Kevin to review it because um, a, quite a bit of what I changed was around the formatting, and we also still need to add the context and keyword tags. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna give, um, so that's done. So I'm gonna give Kevin, poor Kevin, who's not here. I'm gonna give him an action item. Uh, make sure the formatting is correct. And you know what the tag should be. So is the tagging or keyword ha has been formalized as a part of template now? Um, so we I... haven't done it for the common metrics yet. So I was actually just going to ask while we're here, um, if you open up the spreadsheet, done. Because I created a PR yesterday as a forcing function for the meeting, but I didn't add anything. So I was like, I don't know. Well, if you, so organizational diversity is row 14. So if you just scroll all the way to the end of the table on the right, you'll see the columns for context tags and keyword okay. tags. And so we could, the context tags are a specific set of whatever, you can click on that. It shows you what the context tags are, like the actual word context tags, yeah. And so these are a set of kind of predefined key, not keywords, but a predefined set of words that we use. And so basically when you come to the knowledge base page, you'll see like a square called contribution, a square called life cycle, a square called contributor. So it's to help with browsing a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. And so Kevin wants maybe two, two to three uh, context tags per metric. So we had kind of gone through and defined <laughs> those as the context tags for organizational diversity. We can change okay. these, that's not a big deal. I think um, that looks good. Okay, and then the keyword tags, 
are tags that we just feel like adding. that aren't in the list and we just think would be helpful if somebody's doing a search you know not a browse approach to the metrics okay and so didn't fill those in we could do that here right now if we want you know so some of the um, other metrics or metrics models they'll have as many as you know six keywords sometimes so there's no limit on that okay and the keywords would not be organization and contributor because those are context tags. So yep, you'd right. new ones for for the keywords. Yep. So I mean, we could just do diversity. Oops. I don't. I wish you could kind of see. Um. You know, were there anything? Was there anything else in the? Metric, yeah, maybe we could look at it itself. Maybe employment. Yep. You might want to. Should we tag you, it? Should we also tag it elephant factor? We yeah, actually, we certainly could because that's. Don, before you hit enter, can you yeah. make sure you like copy those that you've written down? Because I also typed in that cell. Ah, okay. I just want to make sure that. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't lose anything. Yeah, sheets is a little bit funny sometimes. It is indeed. Um, Any other thoughts on keywords? No, I think between the organization and contributor and then diversity, employment, elephant factor, we have five. Okay, that sounds five good. Items. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give myself the action item to add those context tags and keywords. Yep. I'll just push a new commit with that. Um, anything else on organizational diversity? Nope. Good thing Sean just picked up the phone because the next action item is for him, but we'll come back to him. Uh, technical fork, the node. Oh, is that the one that you? Yep, I created a PR, but there is no for, uh, tag, context tags or those tags things because okay. they were not finalized and I just. Well, so do we want to look at this one? So uh, yeah. technical fork. They all should have context tags. So Kevin and I went through pretty much every working group. So we've got platform and software as the context tags. Um, thoughts on the the keyword tags. Fork could fork. definitely be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm really going out on a limb there. For our mm -hmm. clone, copy, maybe. Um, yeah. Even download, I can think of it as a do people agree with us? Any yeah, other thoughts? I mean, the nice thing about the keyword tags, they, they they're zero cost, you know what I mean? They have yeah. they don't cost us anything. So yeah. So you've issued the PR, that's done. Update PR with the tags. So what is the exact format of the template? Is it like uh, added to the template, metric template? Because most Don, of the time. Yeah, take a look at Dawn's PR. She okay. had it just as. Just yeah, as I used it as, it was, it was part of the template that I copied in. And so it was, uh, it looked like this. Okay. It's context okay. tag, word tags. Okay, I'll, I'll copy that. Uh, so now we are getting rid of synonyms. Am I correct? Yes, you are correct. Synonyms okay. are gone. So I think in the technical fork, we have the synonym. No, we don't have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, 
which metrics should we uh, should we revisit next? Because I think our plan was the cycle. When does the cycle end? When is the next release? Metrics? It's not going to be until spring, just because we're doing this kind of work. So everything's like the okay. next official release will be in whatever, whatever conference seems okay. suitable in spring. Okay. Um, so which metrics do we want to start to look at next to revisit? There's an issue um, that Matt opened. There's another metric that needs to be developed for metrics models. Yes, I'd forgotten I forgot. I think it's that. like ma maintainer count, something like that. Sorry, I thought my video was on. Let's see. You did attendee count. That was it, right? Was it, it's just buried in here. That's not a separate one. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Maintainer count. Does anyone want to volunteer to do that? Yeah, I, I can totally do that. Cool. Were there any others in the issues? Um, maybe like just as I start that, do any maybe do, do people have thoughts on what might want to go into a maintainer count metric? Just like we could just do points right here. You know what I mean? Just any mm -hmm. like top of the head things. Or is I it as simple as it sounds? Defining what a maintainer is in that context is going to be the trickiest thing, I think. Okay. Because it may be more than just a, a technical maintainer on the on the repo, but mm -hmm. you could just do that too. And I think too that we probably need to um, look at counts um, by, like I don't know, maybe I don't know if it's maybe a filter or something uh, based on type of maintainer. Okay. So if you think about like big projects, you might have a you know a, a working group maintainer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know, maintainers for different parts of the code. Okay. Okay. People have any other thoughts on that? Okay, thank you. That's helpful. Yeah. And then are there any other? I don't think there are any other issues with ones that we wanted to work on that we haven't started. Yeah, this is pretty good on keeping track of issues. Mm -hmm. I was wondering on column, I can do this too, but on column D, you know how we say like Don F is working on this, Sean mm -hmm. G is working on this. Have these been completed? Cause we could clean up these remarks. So like we could delete you out of row 14. Um, yeah, I mean, we haven't merged the PR. Okay, I can wait. I can, let me, I'll do an action item just to kind of make sure if a PR has been merged to kind of clean up column D. I get a little obsessed about this spreadsheet sometimes. So I no, see good. two items are assigned to me, but I never looked at the Excel and I always follow the meeting minutes and I haven't worked on them, so. <laughs> um okay so maybe that's another logical one to start with so uh contributors and bot activity are the two that um so i might not be able to do it for the upcoming meeting because i'm traveling so for the next yes i can work on it yeah that's fine okay yeah i'm actually going to miss the next meeting too because i'm going to be at an event I will not miss the meeting. Maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to do one at least. Yeah, I'll I'll try to do one. Okay. Well, we'll give you the action items. You don't necessarily have. Uh, yeah. To. 
Um, okay. Yeah. Next week. Okay. Other and people let their action items sit for multiple weeks. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Those people. <laughs> Those people. And um, I have added the tags to the technical fork. You can now merge the PR. So. Okay. Um, do we need anybody else to to review that, or is it is it really is it just ready to to merge? Yep, only two oh no, we got failing failing test. I'm gonna guess that DCO uh, uh, to sign off the new commit. Yeah, I would never I, do such a thing. <laughs> but on, you see, RTA. my name is there. My name is there, <laughs> and my sign is there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you can fix that and then we'll we'll merge it. Okay. So what do I have to do to fix that? That would be a big thing. Um, do you use the GitHub command line or do you do it? How do you I I, I do it on the UI, mostly on the UI, GitHub UI. Okay. So then I think what we do is we just set it to pass. Yep. Okay. Um, because it is in the thing. Like, because I, I use the command line and there's a really simple way to just amend a commit with a sign off and yep. you just do it and push it. Um, but you can't do that. That doesn't work in the user interface because the GitHub user yeah. interface is not not great. No, and once it doesn't work the DCO, there's no going back on yep. the user interface. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Anybody have any concerns before we merge this? No. We'll just we'll just do it. Oops, I'm not in the right place to do that. Okay. Do you want me to delete the branch? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So um which one was that? That was technical force so that one's done uh contributor location sean i assume you're still working on that one yeah i'm just i just opened it up now we're we just supposed to make it compliant with the current template and just review it to make sure it makes sense yep <laughs> okay. it has a uh, diversity component um add that too because we didn't yep. add that in a lot of them and this one probably probably does it does not have one so yeah but so it i have I have to add it to the translation to for this technical folk for updating the translation. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. I'm not sure. I'm hesitant on the translations right now. Okay. Only because um, we're not gonna really have the PDF anymore because we're as we move to the new so website. The, yeah. We're gonna and and as part of that move too, um, we're providing translations on the page. You know, kind of like that drop down box. Okay. And Kevin's exploring the different translations tools that can obviously just do it on the fly. And so the right now the question is the the amount of work that it takes to post the issue, have it translated, <laughs> and bring it back is a lot versus. So we should just hold off on doing. I think so. Yeah. Until we yeah. Get I hate to ask it. people to do work, and then we're like, "Well, actually, we yeah. don't need that because okay. we have a drop down box." If we decide to yeah. work for whatever reason, we can go back and mm -hmm. look at the ones that we've recently done and mm -hmm. um, yeah. follow the issues from later. Yeah. Then so we I have to remove this item from the checklist too because we keep as a uh, quality check whether it is. This is. I mean. It, the checklist doesn't prevent anything okay. from happening. So you can just yep. leave it checked at the moment. Okay. Matt, I just opened one this morning for that uh, meeting attendee count because I realized I forgot to do that. Should I take that out or just leave it in uh, in the translation? Oh. It's um, maybe just like add to it. Say just hold off for a second while we figure it. You could just add to the issue that I'm guessing you okay. posted. Yeah. Okay. Anything else we need to cover? Any other metrics that we want to revisit right now? Mm 
And I think with the new metric and reviewing, we still have a couple to do's. I think mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Look at us ending a little bit early. Oh, superstars. Um, Superstars, uh, who wants to run the next one? Because I am going to be, where will I be? Detroit. I might actually miss the next two. That's in um, right? yeah. two weeks, Detroit, right? Detroit and then LF Member Summit. Yep. I can do gonna... I can do the one in two weeks, but we probably are going to need to cancel the one during the LF Summit. <laughs> yeah. I'll be gone too. Yeah. yeah, same here. Elizabeth, are you going to the Member Summit? No, okay. Nope. Um, so we should talk maybe about whether we cancel all of the meetings during that week or? Seems to always kind of be the best. If you want to meet, go ahead, but kind of the big ones. Yeah. Although, I'm, yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna give you that action item. Okay. We can certainly cancel common. I mean, because <laughs> according to this call, 60% yeah. of us will be gone, so. <laughs> yep, okay. And then, um, uh, Sean, Sean to run the next meeting. Yeah, I can run the next meeting. Okay, so you have an action item for that? Yep, I know I have my work done, otherwise I look bad. <laughs> <laughs> like worse than I usually do when I don't finish it. Well, so it's, it's the staying. meetings that prompt me to, you know, forcing function of that thing that's been on my to-do list for two weeks that I haven't actually done. Um, yep. Don, are you just staying in the U.S. the whole time or no. are you going back? That would be yeah. too hard. Okay. Um, well, I'm staying. So for, um, for KubeCon, I'm going to go straight to all things open because it basically okay. starts on Sunday. So okay. I'm just going to fly there and then, and then I'm going to fly home for a weekend and then fly back for... Okay. For member summit okay. just in case just in case you close on your home <laughs> i'm getting used to that up arrow by the way i like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's gonna be there forever that's, that's just what i'm deciding um it's just never gonna we're never gonna move we're just gonna live out of boxes for the rest of our lives and then if, nice we, if we do move it'll be a pleasant surprise you can just you can just discard the boxes you don't find necessary to open during that time <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> so true. All right. On that note, thanks everybody for coming Let, to the meeting. No, and, um, see you all later. Later. Thanks. Bye, Bye everybody.